Hi again, this is another video from the bike restoration series. I've chosen the most obvious and proper path and that is to restore the brake calipers. Now, it's gonna be tricky, it's gonna be difficult, but it's gonna be done very fast and easily. So, I'm going to show you guys what I'm gonna do. First things first, put a lot of rags over here, yourself a container. This is with the oil from the oil change. And then, whilst this is on the bike, be sure to squeeze very thoroughly the brake lever a few times. Take a 14 millimeter spanner and just undo the, it's gonna be easier. The next thing to do is present to you guys the proper parts that you need to overhaul in a brake caliper. That's O-rings, three dis four different assortments, yeah, uh, it's safety pins, safety pins, right, for the pins which hold the brake pads, copper washers, which go over here and over here, you see, there's a copper, there's a aluminum washer over here and one over here, I'll be replacing them with copper ones because that's kind of the same thing, it's still gonna hold, and these are um, covers for the bleed nipple, let's get started, right now we unscrew the screws which hold the brake caliper to the shocks we take it aside and we undo the screw which holds the brake hose and right now we are fishing out the safety pins with a pick tool it's very useful to have one at hand then we fish out the slide pins and the slide frame For the bolts we need a 6mm hex socket, hex key, see if it's right in, so you can do it on the ground. I've chosen to put my foot over the caliper because it's easier and you can undo the, the screws very easily. Okay, so let me show you how I managed to free out the pistons. So I've blocked off the port, one of the ports with this inflatable bicycle uh, tire tube and then I've placed uh, a claw an adjustable claw over here and blew up air up until uh, that piston was almost out then I put the claw on that piston and did the same thing for this side then I blew out the other one completely so that's it, compressed air for this port, this one over here, that's it. Now we just have to clean out and extract the remaining um, pistons. We have to clean out the calipers inside, take out the remaining grommets, use a pick tool for that, use a lot of brake cleaner, some clean rags and uh, clean out the bores of the brake calipers very thoroughly. Do not leave uh, any debris over there, do not leave uh, any uh, marks on the, on the pistons. Be careful when extracting them not to scuff them or uh, damage them. If you've damaged the piston, be sure to replace it with a brand new one. Careful that the pistons have two different diameters, Two are small and two are bigger. Same goes for the gaskets and the O-rings. Use some grease when inserting the new pistons. Okay, so now the caliper is cleaned as much as possible. The insides are the ones that count the most. Have them cleaned speak and span. Blow blown air through the ports for each hole and also what matters is to properly clean the pistons and the sliding plate right now what I'm gonna do off camera of course is to load up the the gaskets these are the old ones we're gonna put new ones in of course you can see right now we have we are starting to load up the inner gaskets. Uh, remember that there are two types of uh, gaskets. I mean, what I mean by two types, the 
There are the small diameter and the bigger diameter gaskets and also there are two thicknesses which we should talk about. The most thinner gasket is thinner and the outer uh, dust shield gasket, if you will, that's uh, thicker. Right now I've greased also the pistons, uh, be sure to grease the, the cylinders of the calipers with uh, grease after installing the gaskets because it's very important to have uh, a greased cylinder and a greased piston and then you, you will have a very easy assembly and you will not pinch any, any of the gaskets. Pinching any of the gaskets will compromise the, the caliper itself and you'll have to either buy a new gasket repair kit or uh, redo everything from the very beginning. Like mentioned previously, you can use either Ceratec from Techstar or Lubris, uh, Lubris something from uh, Ate. But I've used the uh, general purpose grease over here. Right now I'm gonna just screw in two of the four screws holding the caliper together. But I didn't fully tighten them. I gonna, I'm gonna apply some thread lock on the on the screws themselves and be installing them. After I've installed the screws with thread lock, then I will be undoing the first installed two screws, hitting up them up with some thread lock and again reinstalling them and then torque everything to, to spec. At least this is the, the plan which you which which you see over here. You can use either red or blue thread lock. Personally it's um, it's with the blue one which is used over here. You just have to set up the torque wrench to 17 newton meters. The red thread locker is stronger than the blue one, that's uh, a known fact. Right now I'm torquing the bolts to spec, like said a couple of seconds ago, 17 newton meters. Give them a grease. Again, when greasing up the slide pins, also remember to grease the sides, both sides and the top side of the brake pads. Uh, also, you grease the pins very well. You can use either, like mentioned before, Ceratec or the one from Ate or use uh, ceramic injector grease which I've used over here. Right now we are gonna have to insert the safety clips, insert them all the way in and installation is well, backwards of what was done during the removal of the caliper. Again apply thread locker Thread it in by hand. Okay, now we get the torque wrench, set it to 35. Now 35 newtons. Right now it's time to put the cap back on, also put the dust cover on the bleed nipple. You take two copper washers, put one in front, one in the back and then tighten them. Be careful that the screw is made out of aluminum and it's very easy to destroy. This is a shot taken after 
everything is installed and torqued to spec. I have also cleaned the bleed nipple. Mine, my bleed nipples were very dirty and uh, I had to clean them. They had no caps, so be sure to put the cap back on. This is Alexandre Izar. Thank you for watching. Hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.